afternoon, Caneland community. Dr. Todd Layton checking in for our April Talks with Todd. Today I'm with Mrs. Massey here from the high school and our topic for April is to talk a little bit about two things. Number one, how our staff feels supported in the Caneland community and number two, how we've connected to the community. So Mrs. Massey, if you don't mind, please introduce yourself. What classes do you teach here at the high school? I am Kristen Massey. I teach math at the high school. This year I'm teaching geometry and algebra two. So I have mostly sophomores and juniors. Great. So for our first question, tell us um, throughout this school year, how you felt supported at both Caneland High School and the Caneland School District? Um, I feel supported a lot from, with my um, colleagues, the colleagues I work with, mostly in my KLCs. Uh, I really appreciate the time that we are able to work together. Uh, we support each other just with lesson plans. We share, uh, everybody in my department is very open um, with sharing their lesson plans. Uh, we write assessments together. Uh, we bounce a lot of ideas off of each other. Uh, if we have questions or difficulties with a particular student, um, I am very able to go to other teachers who have taught them before. What ideas do you have? Um, and so I feel very supported with my fellow math teachers and um, we work well together. That's good to hear. And it sounds like as part of that process, you've probably also provided some of those supports to other teachers as well. Yes, yes. I love coming up with new ideas, and so usually if I find something that's really interesting, I feel free to just share with the department. Good, thank you. Um, our second question for uh, the April Talks with Todd is um, connected. How are you connected to um, Caneland High School and to the Caneland School District in general? Um, here at the high school, I am a department chair for the math department, so um, I am able to meet, we meet weekly, as department chairs and that truthfully gives me a lot of connection through the building because I work with all the other department chairs and so just I get I feel like I get more of an opportunity to see what other departments are doing um, and kind of how they feel we've had a lot of discussions the last couple of years just with certain changes and so it's really interesting and good for me to see the perspective of other departments um, and how other teachers and other content feel about certain things um, with right. grades and assessments and all those kinds of things. And so i that's how I feel connected with the building and that opportunity for me. Well, good. Well, thank you. Um, two easy questions. Hopefully that wasn't too painful. <laughs> and um, thank you to Mrs. Massey for taking some time today. Hope you enjoyed this conversation and the conversation with Colin Wright as part of the April Talks with Todd. I'm glad to have Colin Wright here. Colin is a empowered teacher here at the Caneland Ignite Personalized Learning Academy. And the same questions, we talked with Mrs. Massey. Um, Colin, if you don't mind, just introduce yourself quickly and we'll ask you two of our questions about how you're connected to Caneland. Absolutely, so my name is Colin Wright. I am the Pathways slash Empower teacher here at KIPLA. So for Empower, I teach six through eight, help with social studies a little bit. Um, and then I teach third through eight Pathways, which is kind of like Genius Hour and the Exploratory is kind of combined together. Good. Thank you. Welcome to uh, Canaan. This is your first yeah. year in the district, correct? Yeah. Absolutely. Welcome to Canaan. Tell us a little bit about now you've experienced Canaan for a year, how you feel connected and how you are connected to the community in addition to how you're connected here at Kipla. Yeah, I think one of the things that I really enjoyed about working here in Canaan is, especially through the mentor teacher program, being so personalized to each individual teacher and mentor. Um, this is my first year in Canaan, but it's my ninth year teaching. So my mentor had to figure out how do I take some of the things that I would normally tell a first year teacher, but realize that Colin kind of knows some of the things, but sure. so kind of curbing it a bit more to specifically how Caneland does stuff. Um, and it, it's, that, that's that been a big help in not only helping me figure out how to teach here specifically in Caneland, but also create some of those connections within the community, reaching out to teachers who I don't know because of the fact that this is my first year, and really figuring out ways to both help their teaching where they're go where they're at and then also helping me here in Kipla. Good. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. And um, whether you're a veteran teacher or a newer teacher in a district, it's always important to um, support others and receive support as needed. Yeah. How have you uh, felt supported here in Caneland? I, it's it's really amazing just how the, the Caneland teachers as a whole have just really been helpful to all the new teachers. I, I have very often just sent out a quick email to some teachers at both Harder as well as at the elementary schools. Hey, my name is Colin. This is my first year doing 3D printing or doing coding. What kind of resources can you provide? And they're always really quick to give tips and tricks and help out in any way they can. 
it's it's really awesome seeing teachers supporting other teachers in that way, yes. and that it, I I have never seen that as strong as here in Canada. Well, oh, good. That's good to hear. We uh, uh we tend to think and believe that, feel that, but it's always good to hear from a new staff member who believes and feels yes. the same way. Uh, thank you for your time today. Thank you for your uh, school year. You've almost made it through a full almost, school year yeah. now, Colin. And uh, um, Canaan community, this wraps up the April Talks with Todd. Thank you for taking the time to watch this series throughout the school year. We do have one more in May, which will conclude our school year. Um, until then, have a great April, and we'll see you in May.